Welcome back everybody, XP level check. Let me know in the comments where you're sitting at on the XP level in the new WWE Supercard. How are you liking it? I'm really enjoying the XP leveling system, but let's take a look how we got to that detention tier. All right, first detention pro, we got 13,000 super coins. Hopefully it's a good one. Our very first detention pro, we get a diamond Dallas. Page. Yo, DDP in the house. I'm gonna leave it on the Oscar and maybe that'll give us some good luck to get a female because I certainly need a female and want a female. Second detention pro. Oscar's gonna give us good luck right here. Fat amounts of XP though. Boom. Wesley. Dang it. Obviously, there's a lot less females, so maybe one in six, maybe one in seven chance. You probably have a 10 to 15% chance, assuming that it's evenly distributed. Eight more thousand, almost 9,000. That almost jumped us up to uh, the next level. Yo, Taze is going to put it on him. He says three. All right, Taze. This is on you, brother. I trust in you. I have faith in you. Let's go. <laughs> so now we got our first a female a Tempest. Which is going to be Blair Davenport. Zoe Stark. Yo. Okay, another female. Another Tempest female. I'm going to go two. I guess the sh sun shines on a dog's ass every now and then, doesn't it? Okay. I mean, we pulled a Tempest in a free pack. Tempest in a free pack. All right. I'll take that. I mean, I'll take that for sure. Yes, sir. Yo. And it is a Stacy Keebler elf. I've been pulling them every four hours. That's been the first card I've gotten since that was not a SummerSlam. And that's the second one. And if y'all haven't done it yet, go over to the WWE Supercard Twitter page. They have four QR codes, or you could just scan them right here. One of them contains lots of cards. We have some super coins. We have some credits. We have some forging tokens, I think. But uh, definitely, it's all free, obviously. And this is the final thing that we needed because collecting cards increases your XP level and that pack is definitely nice for lower tiered players. And because of all the XP that we gain from it, uh, we got to that level 15, which is the level you need for detention tier. And it is kind of cool that not only do you get freebies, but you get you know all of the ladder rewards along the way as you're increasing the levels. But let's get that detention freebie and see who we get. Y'all are gonna have to let me know in the comments, you know? Uh, what tier are you? What deck tier are you? Have you really been noticing a difference when you uh, go on the draft board from your deck tier to your actual XP leveling tier? We're going to talk about it here in a minute because I have certainly noticed some things when the two are different. But either way, yo, here's our detention freebie. We're gonna get ourselves a Damian Priest. Now when your deck level and your actual XP level is different, my deck level's Tempest. You get the animation when you pull a Tempest card. So it's really cool. Even though my XP level is in the detention tier, my rarity pull is gonna be for detention tier. But every time I pull a Tempest, it still gives me that same animation, which is pretty nice. And now we got our level 15 pack, which is gonna contain one single extra detention. So you got your detention or your tier freebie that you get when you increase your XP level. And then for the level one at reaching that actual level, you're gonna get another one. And then a couple down the road, you're gonna get a female one. So we get Seth the freaking Rollins. It's actually a really good one compared to, I think, my other detentions that I have. I'm going to say that that's certainly top tier. The image is amazing, man. I love his suit right there. He looks really fresh, ready to go to school. Now, top eight, we are still working on it because we're pulling so many pros. The detention pros that we bought from the Superstore, though, I do have the matches done. 
that's what the stats look like. The DDP is pretty decent. I'm not sure exactly where either one of them sit, but because I reached that detention tier and my deck level is only Tempest tier, I pull an absolute ton of Tempest. And these are all the pros we still have yet to work on that we're in the process of working on. So we literally just made detention tier on the XP leveling system. And once we got there, the Tempest just started flying off the board. And so, yeah, we got an absolute ton. We have multiple females. We have two females and like six male Tempest pros that I'm trying to work on. I'm just doing one pointers and road to glory with all this stuff in here, trying to get some PVP done. But uh, we got lots of pros. I think we'll at least our deck tier should be in detention pretty quick. But if you can afford it and you want to increase that level tier, the superstore is certainly probably the way to go, especially if you're a free to play player. These cards, earning these cards, give you an absolute ton of XP. We got like 9,000 or 10,000 from, or eight to 9,000 from each of the detention pros. In Road to Glory right now, I'm just doing the plus ones on detention right now, trying to get this a Brutus Creed card. And I think I'm probably going to be able to get it done. But just to get that extra is XP and just to get that extra matches on all of the pros that we have. Now, on a side note, just to let you know what my experience has been so far in King of the Ring, because I'm still trying to win King of the Ring one time. I initially put in all level zero WrestleManias, and I've come to find out that the matchmaking isn't really very good. Um, as you see, and I'm still in a level zero, I have all level zero WrestleManias. You see that we got, you know, F2s, F3s, Myths, WrestleManias. They're all level zero, yes. But in these particular cases, they're not level zero WrestleManias, and they are F1, F2, and F3, which is crazy. Last night, I actually had one in which I was in the finals, and the other guy had all WrestleManias, but they were all level 100 WrestleManias. Every single card in his deck was a level 100 WrestleMania, and all of mine are level zero. So the matchmaking is a little bit confusing to me right now. Uh, it doesn't seem like it benefits you from dropping to the lowest possible uh, number that you can, right? It doesn't seem that it's reasonable to try to stick with level zero. Also, in case you are curious, the forging tokens that it costs for each of at least these th three tiers that I can look at, for the blue, it's going to be 48, 72, and 144 on the detention. So Tempest to detention was double. I'm going to expect Noir is going to be in the 300 plus. As far as the red tokens for pros, it was 8, 12, and I believe detention was 16, 24. So 24 on the detention. So you can imagine how many forging tokens it's going to cost for Noir and Crucible. If y'all haven't checked it out yet, yesterday we did do a video on five good things, five bad things for WWE Supercard Season 10. Go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. But either way, let me know in the comments where y'all at on the XP level. How are y'all enjoying it? What kind of pulls have y'all been getting? I did see a couple people already say they completed the XP level track couldn't imagine how many packs that took to actually get there. But uh, we're still enjoying it. I'm loving it so far. At least the things that I'm playing, I am loving it. Uh, doing the matches, certainly a struggle. Very much so. But other than that, I'm having fun. Let me know in the comments how y'all are doing. I'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a great weekend. Peace out, guys.